Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another here journal for you. Joshua chapter 19, End of the Promised Land. The Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire Bible book of Joshua, a chapter at a time, and doing a here journal video on each chapter. Here journaling is a method many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Joshua chapter 19 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 19, The Land Given to Simeon the second allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. Their homeland was surrounded by Judah's territory. Simeon's homeland included Beersheba, Sheba, Molada, Hazar Shul, Bela, Ezum, Iltolad, Bethul, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebaoth, and Sheruin, thirteen towns with their surrounding villages. It also included Aen, Rimmon, Ether, and Ashon four towns with their villages, including all the surrounding villages as far south as Balath Beer, also known as Ramah of the Negev. This was the homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Simeon. Their allocation of land came from part of what had been given to Judah because Judah's territory was too large for them. So the tribe of Simeon received an allocation within the territory of Judah. The land given to Zebulun. The third allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Zebulun. The boundary of Zebulun's homeland started at Sered. From there it went west, going past Merilah, touching Dabasheth, and proceeding to the brook east of Jachnium. In the other direction the boundary went east from Sered to the border of Kisloth Tabor, and from there to Debereth and up to Japhia. Then it continued east to Gath Hefer, Ethkazan, and Rimmon, and turned toward Nia. The northern boundary of Zebulun passed Hanathon and ended at the valley of Iftael. The towns in these areas included Kedeth, Nahalal, Shimron, Idalah, and Bethlehem, twelve towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Zebulun included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Issachar. The fourth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Issachar. Its boundaries included the following towns, Jezreel, Kisaloth, Shunem, Hapharaim, Shihon, Anahareth, Rabeth, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, Enganim, Enhada, and Bethpazes. The boundary also touched Tabor, Shehazima, and Beth Shemesh, ending at the Jordan River, sixteen towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Issachar included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Asher. The fifth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Asher. Its boundaries included these towns, Hilkath, Hale, Beton, Akshaf, Elamelech, Amad, and Mishael. The boundary on the west touched Carmel and Shihor Libnath. Then it turned east toward Beth Dagon and ran as far as Zebulun in the valley of Iftael, going north to Beth Emek and Neil. It then continued north to Kabul, Abdon, Rehob, Hammon, Cana, and as far as Greater Sidon. Then the boundary turned toward Ramah and the fortress of Tyre, where it turned toward Hosea and came to the Mediterranean Sea. The territory also included Mehelbel, Akzib, Uma, Aphek, and Rehob. 22 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Asher included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Naphtali. The sixth allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Naphtali. Its boundary ran from Heluf, from the oak at Zayananim, and extended across to Adaminikab, Jabneel, and as far as Lakim, ending at the Jordan River. The western boundary ran past Aznoth Tabor, then to Hukuk, and touched the border of Zebulun in the south, the border of Asher on the west, and the Jordan River on the east. The fortified towns included in this territory were Zidim, Zur, Hamath, Rakith, Kinnereth, Adama, Ramah, Hazor, Kedish, Edri, and Hazor, Yiran, Migdal El, Horem, Beth Anath, 
and Beth Shemesh, 19 towns with their surrounding villages. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Naphtali included these towns and their surrounding villages. The land given to Dan. The seventh allotment of land went to the clans of the tribe of Dan. The land allocated as their homeland included the following towns. Zora, Eshtael, Ir Shemesh, Shealaban, Ajalon, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, Eltica, Gibbethon, Baalath, Jehud, Ban Barak, Gathrimon, Mejarkin, Rakon, and the territory across from Joppa. But the tribe of Dan had trouble taking possession of their land, so they attacked the town of Laish. They captured it, slaughtered its people, and settled there. They renamed the town Dan after their ancestor. The homeland allocated to the clans of the tribe of Dan included these towns and their surrounding villages. The Land Given to Joshua After all the land was divided among the tribes, the Israelites gave a piece of land to Joshua as his allocation, for the Lord had said he could have any town he wanted. He chose timnath Sira in the hill country of Ephraim. He rebuilt the town and lived there. These are the territories that Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the tribal leaders allocated as grants of land to the tribes of Israel by casting sacred lots in the presence of the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle at Shiloh. So the division of the land was completed. And that was Joshua chapter 19 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now for my hair journal, first the highlight, Joshua chapter 19, verse 51. Verse 51. These are the territories that Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the tribal leaders allocated as grants of land to the tribes of Israel by casting sacred lots in the presence of the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle at Shiloh. So the division of the land was completed. So, what's my explanation? The remaining allocations of land were determined by the priest casting sacred lots in the presence of the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle in Shiloh. So, how does that apply to us today? The priests sought the Lord's help in these allocations. We, too, must seek the Lord for His wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and instruction in all things, the large important things, as well as the small and seemingly insignificant things. His ways are the best way, always. Reference Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Matthew 6.33 But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Hebrews 11:6. And without faith it's impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. 1 Chronicles 16:11. Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continually. Proverbs 8:17. I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently find me. Jeremiah 29, 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Psalm 63, 1. A Psalm of David when he was in the wilderness of Judah. O oh God, you are my God. Earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts after you. My flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. Deuteronomy 4.29 
But from there you will seek the Lord your God and you will find him if you search after him with all your heart and with all your soul. Matthew chapter 7, 7 and 8. Ask and it will be given you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, it will be opened. So, what's my response? Lord, thank you for being there for me any time and every time that I need you. I strive to abide in you as you abide in me, following you faithfully and obediently. I pray for others that do not know you. Amen. Amen. Now, how about you? Why don't you try some here and drink? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You will be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us, won't you? And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to the Lord. Listen, seek Him now. God bless.